This is going to be my first golf course open in the United States. I've played all around the world, seen a lot of different golf courses, played a lot of different grasses. I just am so excited to be here and see these different landforms that we've had to work with. I think when people have the opportunity to come and see Blue Jack National, they'll realize you know, how spectacular and how beautiful the topography is here, the movement of the land, the gracefulness of these trees that are on this property. Our goal is really to just take what the land gives you and try to figure out ways to fit a golf course to the land versus trying to fit the land to, to some preconceived golf course. From a design standpoint, I take the land that's available and try and create options and try and make it friendly for, for all levels and make it challenging for all levels. One of the things I've noticed about playing all around the world, you see you have golf courses in which golf takes so long to play, sometimes six hours, sometimes plus, and that's ridiculous. Tiger's been very adamant that he wants golf courses that are really fun to play, golf courses where you really have to think your way around the game of golf and use your imagination, use your creativity, play shots on the ground as necessarily play them in the air. One of the features that we've unfortunately have gone away from is what I've seen in Lynx Golf is that you always have the front of the green open, the ability to use the ground as a friend. I've enjoyed the options of hitting anywhere between a four iron around the greens to a putter and anything in between. That to me is a lot of fun. There can be very definite optimal positions that you're gonna to wanna to get your ball into to either attack a green or putt to a pin. This is really gonna be a fun, fun place because that really good player can come play with a not so good player and both of them are gonna walk off the 18th hole having had a wonderful, incredible time here at Blue Jack National. We are tree line, but we're gonna have these open areas of pine straw and mulch bedding underneath our tree canopies and in our areas on the boundaries that even if you hit your balls in those locations, you'll be able to find your ball, go in there, punch it out and, and continue playing at a relatively quick pace. You have all these beautiful features that are out there, the rolling hills, the beautiful bunkering that's going to take place, the greens, but you got to find that, that surface that just sits on top perfectly and gives that emerald green look. The selections of grasses we've gone with is the L1F zoysia. The way we chose that is because it's a, it's a very tight-knit zoysia um, that not only has a great color and luster to it, but also has a phenomenal playing surface. Tees the ball up very nicely, creates a surface that is easy to sweep the ball and hit the ball off of as well. And it's not a grass that you can go to any golf course and experience. The experience of playing a beautiful golf course in an incredible setting is something that I always remember. So I remember the holes and being out in kind of more of a nature environment, those are things that, that, that really intrigue me when I play a golf course. I see from a lot of the golf courses that I've been around, around the country, they're trying to incorporate uh, juniors to come out and play their golf course, but they still don't have the land or the facilities or even the angles. It wasn't originally created that way. Here we're going to do that. And with the amenities from our, our playground area, which will be a, a short course of, of a collection of, of nine holes that will range anywhere from 40 yards to 110 yards, you have a, a great area for kids to learn the game of golf. My little son, Charlie, is five years old. He loves to come out and play golf with me. I'm always trying to put him in positions that it would be realistic of a hole to him. And sometimes it just doesn't work. You can't carry it over marsh, you can't carry it over bunkers that far. So I think that by incorporating that, uh, having a family uh, atmosphere in which that you can have a five-year-old to you know, a 70 year old all have fun at the same time, that's the type of level of flexibility that I think we have with Blue Jack National. Everyone's just so excited about the project. We're working to create something that's so enjoyable, so impactful for all of the members and all the families that come out and enjoy it.